Let me show you how to create this photo manipulation in Adobe Photoshop. Download the images from the description. Drag the car image over the phone. Reduce the fill temporary so you can be able to position the car accordingly. Set back the fill to 100%. Now go to select and choose subject. Add a layer mask. Hide this layer. Choose the pen tool. Follow the process. Right click and choose make selection. And hide the car layer. Click on the mask. Make sure the foreground color is black. Press delete. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Choose this layer. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Exposure. Follow these settings. Choose this layer. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Exposure. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below it. Follow these settings. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Exposure. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below it. Follow these settings. Click on the mask. Press Ctrl-I to invert it. Choose the Brush tool. Set the hardness to 0%. Make sure the foreground color is white. Click on the exposure icon. Click on the mask. Create a new layer. Set the foreground color to black. Choose the brush tool. Press Ctrl T. Hold Alt and adjust it accordingly. Reduce the fill. Now we want to blur this part of this layer. Go to Filter, Blur Gallery, choose Field Blur. Follow this process. When you finish press OK. Drag the tree layer to Photoshop. Let's remove the white background. Go to Channels. Let's see which channel has the darkest black and white. The blue channel is the best one. Right click and choose Duplicate Channel. Press Ctrl L to open the levels. Follow this process. Choose Increase Contrast 3. You can also choose Midtone Brighter, but in this case, Increase Contrast 3 is better. Follow this process. Choose the brush tool. Change the mode to overlay. Set the foreground color to white. If you have white selected, 
Anything black stays black. So paint to remove the gray color. Switch the foreground color to black and do the same thing. When you select black and try to paint over a white area it will not paint. Now hold control and click on this carpet blue channel to create a selection. Go back to layers. Add a layer mask. Press Ctrl I to invert it. Go to adjustment layer and choose curves. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below it. Follow this process. Go to adjustment layer and choose levels. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below it. Follow this process. Click on the mask, press Ctrl I to invert it. Choose the brush tool. Set back the mode to normal. Make sure the foreground color is white. Choose this layer. Create a new layer. Set the foreground color to black. Choose the brush tool. Press Ctrl T. Hold Alt and adjust it accordingly. Reduce the fill. Now drag the cloud images to Photoshop. Change the blending mode to screen. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the shift button. Do the same thing for the second cloud. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Hold Shift and select these layers. Press Ctrl G to group them. Let's rename it. Drag also this shadow inside the group. Hold Shift and select the clouds layers. Drag them under the tree folder. Drag the bird's picture to Photoshop. Double click on the layer to open the blending options. Hold Alt and click to separate the handles. Follow this process to remove the white background. When you finish press OK. Add a layer mask. Make sure the foreground color is black. Choose the brush tool. Set the hardness to 100%. Let's start hiding few birds. Drag the lights layers to Photoshop. Adjust their position to be over the lights of the car. Change the blending mode to screen. Let's remove these. Add a layer mask. Make sure the foreground color is black. Use the brush tool. Set the hardness to 0%. And let's hide these extra lights. Do the same thing for the second light layer. Last step. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Color Lookup. 
follow these settings. That's it, hope you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Support my channel by buying my courses, templates, and Photoshop presets. Link in the description. Also check out other tutorials in my channel. Thank you for your support.